G'day Erica, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour of our Toyota Corolla Hybrid. Um, now Erica, before I go through the hybrid itself, what I thought I'd do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. Um, so if you actually haven't been here before, um, we're actually standing on one of two pre-owned vehicles um, yards here at Pacific Toyota. Um, stocking between the two yards in excess of about 160 to 180 vehicles. Um, now, if we follow Mulgrave Road, which is just out in front of me here, um, back in towards Erval or heading out of Cairns, um, we have our second used car lot. Directly opposite them are our two brand new showrooms. So we have Toyota and Lexus over there. Um, our service and our spare parts department are also up there. Uh, we also own Hino trucks, opposite lot full drive accessories, and Coral Motors. So we are quite a large dealership up up here um, but uh, without further ado we'll get back to the uh, the hybrid for you so as I mentioned it's about a 10 minute um, long video um, basically what I'm going to do is just show you through the entire car um, so we're going to go through all the paint and panel uh, all the um, interior the service history and then how to obviously navigate your way around all the um, the instruments inside the vehicle as well so um, first of all what we'll do is we'll pop the bonnet and we will start off under the hood so as you can see, you still get your uh, engine in there. And then all your batteries. It's nice and tidy under the hood there. Now up the front of the bonnet. Again, nice and tidy through there. There's no visible dents in there, so it doesn't appear to be any stone chips either, um, which is fantastic. Uh, so through the front bar, I have noticed a, a tiny couple little stone chips. So there's two here, and then another one just over the corner here. And we got a couple little ones. That's just dirt. So two little ones. So we got one just there, and another one just there. Other than that, uh, everything seems to be nice and tidy through the front bar there. Um, so down the driver's side, I'll show you down all those panels there. As you can see, they're all nice and straight. There's no visible dents um, in any of those panels, which is awesome. Um, tires and rims. So they are a Bridgestone uh, tire, um, and they're sitting on a uh, factory alloy wheel, um, which if I can find the tire size, would be helpful. Uh, so they're a 16 inch alloy wheel. Um, Obviously, uh, sitting on a, I guess a, a low to medium profile size tire, so um, plenty of tread life left on those as well. So what we might do, we'll go through all the paintwork over this side. Nice and tidy through the driver's side there. Just show you on top of the roof as well. You get a really nice glossy pearl finish as well um, with the paint. So through to the rear bar here. Uh, there is a mark just on the rear bar, as you can see there. Boot space. Plenty of room in there. Generally fit about oh, maybe one and a half dead bodies. Wouldn't suggest doing it though. <laughs> um, but uh, underneath there is your spare tire, all your jacks, uh, all your jack and all your tools are there as well. Uh, and a couple of little um, slide pockets. Generally you hang the arms down here, make them fit a bit better. <laughs> um, on top we also have your parcel shelf, which obviously goes up and down with the uh, with the tailgate. All right. So we'll work our way down the uh, passenger side this time. So as you can see, again, no visible dents uh, in any of the panel work down this side, which is awesome. Um, so we'll go through all the paintwork. And then again, nice and tidy through there as well. So what we'll do show you through the second row of seats so as you can see all the seats are nice and tidy there's no rips or, or uh, stains in any of the uh, fabric there um, so we'll work our way 
turn the vehicle back into the uh, driver's side. Now on your um, on your door here, you've got two little lines. And you probably heard that little beep then. So now the car's locked. So the key's actually in my back pocket at the moment. Now if we touch that again. There we go. <laughs> car unlocks. Um, so that's why they call passive entry. So if you've got your key in your handbag or um, you know in your pocket or anything, you don't need to take it out to unlock the vehicle. You can just do it with the passive entry um, on the uh, driver and passenger door. All right, so inside the vehicle, what we're going to do now is we're going to start the car up. Now, you're probably not going to hear it start up because it is a hybrid. Uh, so foot on the brake and then over to your push button, which is just here. and your car has started. Um, it is that easy. Um, we might give it a rev so you can hear it. Very, very quiet uh, motor on these. So obviously um, they work through um, with obviously the electric um, and you can also still fill them up with your petrol. Um, so they, they're a combination of both, which is really cool um, and saves you a, a lot of money uh, in fuel because you're, you're alternating between uh, electric and petrol which is uh, obviously a uh, good fuel back pocket but uh, in your scanner screen here you can see uh, your current odometer is 16,814 kilometers so uh, really 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 low k's on this vehicle which is perfect you save thousands of dollars from brand new which is uh, I guess good news for yourself as well um, you've also got over here you've got auto uh, headlights and over here, obviously, all your windscreen wiper controls there as well. On your steering wheel, you have all your Bluetooth controls, uh, which are just down here and here. Uh, and then all your stereo controls are just here as well, so you can change up and down through the volume. But you don't know that. I mean, I guess because it's I thought Gene. it was a, jo I thought it was a joke. What do you mean? I'll just turn that one back down. Um, but as you can hear, um, you can control everything through here, stations, um, answer it and hang up and so on and so forth. Uh, over here, probably the coolest um, bit of technology, uh, radar cruise control. So you probably noticed at the front, the badge was very glossy um, with a nice blue tinge to it. So the blue tinge uh, tells you that the vehicle is a hybrid and the glossy finish is actually a radar. So that works in conjunction with this button behind my finger here the car with the I guess the sensors on the front of it um, so basically the way your radar cruise control works if we can turn it on all right so radar cruise active now if I press that car with the buttons again you can see the lines disappearing and then reappearing so that's the level of distance between you and the car in front so Works the exact same as normal cruise control. You get up to 80k an hour, you set your cruise, um, and then away you go. Now, the car in front of you slows down. Basically, what will happen is your car will drop speed below him to maintain the distance between you and the vehicle in front. Once he speeds back up, you'll speed back up to your desired speed. Now that, like I said, works in conjunction with those lines there. So the level of distance between the vehicle in front of you. So obviously three, you're gonna have uh, sort of like I think it's like three car lengths and then down to one where it's like one car length um, between you both. So that's really cool, uh, really fancy uh, piece of technology there. Below that is um, what they call uh, lane departure warning. So it works up with the cameras up the top there. Um, basically you turn that one on, as you can see, you've got the lanes at the top there and then over on the side there, you can see your lane veering across the, uh, your car veering across the lane. Um, how that works is those cameras up the top here will pick up the white lines. Now, if you don't blinker um, or indicate um, and you veer off out of the line, the car will actually beep at you and alert you that um, you veered off of, out of your lane um, into someone else's lane. You may need to take a break and have a bit of a rest and recharge. Uh, so again, really cool piece of technology, that one. Uh, down here, that one there is automatic high beam. Um, so basically what you do is you set your lights on auto, um, you turn your high beam on, and then you set your auto high beam. Basically what that will do, works in conjunction again with your cameras up the top there, you're driving along at night time, away we go, um, and then a car is coming towards you, on the, obviously on the right side of the road, <laughs> um, but they're coming towards you, basically the cameras will detect that car in front and drop your headlights. So your high beams will uh, disengage, 
once that car passes you, your high beams will come straight back on again. So no need to really fiddle around worrying about who you're high beaming and who you're not. It does it all for you. So really cool. I've actually tried it out in my vehicle. Um, I'm probably one of the people that actually forget to turn their high beams on and off. So um, it saves my bacon uh, a fair, fair few times so far. Uh, down here we have all your window controls, which are pretty much a standard, but you've also got this one up the top here, which is a power fold option. So if we click that, you can see that the, the wing mirrors fold in and out. Really cool uh, piece of technology, that one as well. Um, so we'll move across over to your infotainment system, which is all touchscreen, as you can see. Um, and we have already demonstrated the uh, volume. Empty tomorrow morning from 10 here at Triple M. So obviously all the uh, all the speakers are nice and clear. There's perfect sound coming out of them as there should be because it's almost a near new vehicle. Um, but yeah, all touch screen there. You can go through all your apps. Um, it'll display up in there when you link up your phone with Bluetooth. Down here are all your um, air conditioning controls. So you've got uh, dual zone climate control, as you can see there. So that side there now has 24.5 degrees and I'm on low. So low would be like um, 17. I, I dare say, um, but each side can have their ideal temperature, which is perfect. Um, what else we got? What else can we show you? Uh, down here, obviously, you've got your EV mode and then your different drive modes where you can um, go through, obviously, like your sports mode and whatnot. Uh, traction control, I don't suggest touching that one. I'd probably leave it. It is a safety device. Um, but then you've also got your park reverse, neutral drive, and then B. Um, over to your... Um, uh, handbrake, sorry, lost my words there. Um, so you got your handbrake and then auto hold for obviously like um, driveways and stuff like that. Uh, what else can we show you? Down in here, 12 volt auxiliary port. Um, up in here, and you can see you've got USB and AUX tucked away nicely. Uh, righty, alrighty. Uh, service history. So it has been serviced. Um, they just haven't stamped it in the book, but it's up here, as you can see. Um, so you only have to service these every 12 months or 15,000 Ks, which means you're saving money uh, each year on services. Uh, so as you can see, this one isn't due to 31,000 kilometers or the third month, uh, 2021. So um, I will show you that in the book as well. Um, obviously, as you can see, the first service there, which they haven't stamped just yet, um, but I can get that done. Um, 12 months, 15,000. And then if we jump across, 24 months, 30,000. So look, a full service history um, with this vehicle, obviously there, um, which is perfect. Um, but all the books and um, owner's manuals are all in there. Um, it appears to be a, a uh, Cairns local vehicle from what I can see. Yep, so um, our new one of our new vehicle sales consultants did sell this vehicle originally. Um, as you can see there. That's one of our business cards just there. Alrighty, um, I know I said it was about 10 minutes long, but I've probably gone over that a bit too much, but um, that's pretty much the interior of the vehicle um, and obviously the exterior. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. If I have and you're sort of unsure on um, how to use any of the, I guess the devices or anything like that, um, you've got my number now, so just give me a call. But look, that is our uh, Corolla Hybrid hatch. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a call. Um, happy to answer them uh, any time of the day. Uh, but I look forward to uh, seeing you on Saturday. Cheers.